Hi, I'm Mark and I want to uh, talk about the Dayan Gem 6. There are many good ideas uh, that went into this puzzle, um, but it is unfortunately manufactured horribly. Uh, out of the box it just straight up didn't turn. Um, this one is uh, able to twist because I put it apart and fixed all the pieces individually. Um, to do so, uh, you can open it uh, like a regular 3x3. Obviously at first it didn't came apart this easily. Uh, you needed a, a screwdriver and a bit of force. Um, the next step would be to um, open these uh, caps uh, with, a, uh, with, a, uh, with a hobby knife. Um, and uh, even now that I have uh, cut the edges off, it, it uh, doesn't really come off easily. Um, anyway, uh, once you've done that, you can finally uh, loosen it. These are the parts of the cube. And uh, as you can see, there are many manufacturing errors. Uh, for example, this one. There, there is a whole another piece uh, supposed to slide here or these here. Here is some excess material. Just all in all, uh, here, here there's a knob, for example. Here's uh, also all kinds of excess material around the hole. No wonder it doesn't turn smoothly, or doesn't turn at all, <laughs> to be honest. The corners themselves are, uh, they have this problem that these two uh, pieces are way too close. So uh, even if uh, we, we cleaned up uh, this, this mess here and the inside and uh, those, uh, you, you just wouldn't be able to slide this in because, well, it, it doesn't really fit. It forces those two apart. Uh, that's what we are going to uh, fix, hopefully. Of course, this isn't perfect, but it's way better than the original quality. Also, maybe you could make sure that you have a sharper hobby knife. Okay, well, the first one is done. Afterwards, you uh, should probably clean up the uh, pieces. Uh, I'll do that later. Um, we'll want to modify them quite a bit, actually, because first of all, this uh, this line here is uh, too wide. Uh, that's partly the reason why they don't stick together. Or, well, they do stick, but there's very much space in between. So gets, let's get rid of that. Um, this one also doesn't have to be very uh, accurate because uh, no one's gonna see it. I'm not sure if you actually need to do this edge, but I'm doing it for good measure. Partly because I don't want to take it apart again and do this all over again. And now to these uh, wings themselves. So let 
let's quickly do the other two. Wow, that was quick. And so now we can stick them all together again. That is a little bit better. Oh well. So yeah, there you go. You have to do this for all those pieces. I later realized that uh, also these little shards uh, often get stuck. And this is this is uh, mostly because there is uh, still some excess and there are uh, thicker on the uh, down side. So uh, if we just remove that excess material, um, they actually turn a bit better. And now you can see that this particular piece does not get caught, but all the others do. Now that it finally turns, uh, how can you actually twist it? Well, there are two layers. Uh, first, uh, this uh, ten-sided layer, uh, which you can turn uh, 45 degrees. And uh, the layer below that uh, turns like the standard 3x3, uh, which is 90 degrees. Um, these uh, five-sided faces uh, don't turn at all. Um, because this is a 10 cycle, uh, there will be a parity uh, regarding um, this kind of piece and this kind of piece. Um, well, these bigger shards uh, with two colors and the shards with three colors. Um, some of these uh, small shards uh, appear twice. This one, for example, uh, appears at the other end of the puzzle because of symmetry. All the uh, other pieces, though, uh, are unique. Uh, well, ex of, except, of course, these little ones. The color scheme is actually well thought out. Um, the corners uh, use the uh, same colors as the centers around them, but uh, on the uh, opposite side, so to speak. Some uh, corners also uh, use alternative colors. Um, the corners that are uh, the same as the centers are these four. So uh, like a tetrahedral shape and the uh, other uh, four corners uh, use these alternative colors. Uh, if you twist aside uh, 90 degrees, you can actually see, for example, uh, white is paired up with uh, gray, uh, yellow with uh, bright yellow, uh, blue with bright blue, green with uh, bright green and uh, uh, red with uh, pink and for some reason they uh, chose uh, purple to be the partner of orange. If you uh, do a 180 degrees twist on a side uh, then you can see these uh, colors don't uh, change, don't mix up, so to speak. So a um, checkerboard pattern won't look very uh, different than on a regular 3x3. Uh, to sum up, uh, this looks like a very fun puzzle. Um, however, uh, you need a lot of work to make it turn. Um, for that reason, it is just not worth uh, buying uh, at the price of around uh, 30 euros, uh, which I've seen uh, in, in a lot of uh, online stores. 
if you uh, like model building and so on, um, this is uh, still uh, quite a bit of a boring project because all the pieces like uh, look like the same and there's about 200 of them. Have a nice day. Bye.